you're brushing your teeth with poop. As bathroom experts, we know that every time you flush, microscopic poop particles are flying through the air and landing on your toothbrush and towels. So yeah, poop is in your mouth and on your face. But why does this happen? And what about farts or wiping with toilet paper? Is this why your eyes are itchy? The reason this all happens is due to the toilet plume effect. This effect occurs when a toilet is flushed and an invisible cloud of droplets and aerosols are pushed through the air, spreading all around your bathroom. An aerosol is a solid or liquid particle suspended in the air. In this case, the aerosols are directly released into the atmosphere from a source, the toilet flush. You may be thinking, you could easily prevent this by closing the toilet lid before flushing. Unfortunately, that doesn't prevent it all. The University of Arizona states that closing the lid doesn't trap the aerosols. The air is forced out sideways, so you get aerosol coming out between the toilet seat and cover. Yikes. Additionally, the American Journal of Inflection Control states that the impact of the aerosols released due to the toilet plume effect depends on the type and size of the toilet, bathroom size, and ventilation, as well as the presence of contaminated urine, fecal matter, or vomit in the bowl. Even bacteria can be found in these plumes, such as epidermitis and E. coli. Some high-risk surfaces to be aware of can include toothbrushes, towels, counters, and phones if used in the bathroom. By the way, my name is Monica, your bathroom bestie, and after I learned about the toilet plume effect, I made sure to keep my toothbrush in a cabinet by the sink. Another interesting fact is that microscopic particles of fecal matter can be carried by farts. The study that found this using infrared imaging and microbial sampling noted that underwear and pants can act as a filter, trapping the particles and reducing what escapes into the air. If the person is bare bottom, the fecal matter particles are likely to travel more. So if you're clothed, it's most likely just gas and not a health hazard. So when you fart on your toilet or when you're standing in the shower, you're also spreading poop particles around similar to when you flush the toilet. If you're curious about other poop fun facts, go check out this video on how coffee affects your poop and subscribe to the channel because very soon we'll be making one on how vaping and alcohol affects poop. Besides flushing and farting, there are other bathroom habits you do on a daily basis that can increase the presence of microscopic particles of fecal matter in the air. Vigorous wiping, especially with dry paper, can aerosolize particles, meaning tiny poop particles are getting flung into the air every time you wipe with toilet paper. Not only does toilet paper smear more than it cleans, but when you actually use toilet paper, you are touching and getting close to your butthole. Therefore, you are more likely to transfer bacteria to toilet handles, phones, doorknobs, and other surfaces you may touch after going. A study even found that 100% of people who wipe with toilet paper had bacteria on their hands. 100%. A simple, easy way to avoid the spread of bacteria is by ditching the toilet paper and switching to a bidet. The same study actually found that 93% of people who used a bidet did not have bacteria on their hands after washing. Stay tuned because I'll talk more about the benefits of bidets later in this video. So now that you're aware of the dirty truth about your bathroom, there's a lot to look out for. Not only are you risking contamination of your personal items in the bathroom every time you flush, but it's also possible that the bacteria present in the air and on your hands and skin could impact your gut health, cause skin issues and or infections. There is an increase in exposure to airborne contaminants in shared and public restrooms due to the high usage and open flush toilets and some studies even suggest that women's restrooms may have more bacteria, likely due to more contact with surfaces like changing pads. Some best practices to remember in public bathrooms to stop the spread are to use paper towels instead of hand dryers, as some studies show that high-speed hand dryers can spread bacteria, potentially recontaminating hands after washing. 
Try not to touch surfaces with bare hands or setting belongings on counters or floors. Surprisingly, the toilet seat is the cleanest part in a public bathroom. The sink area often has more bacteria around it. And foot flushing is, is not a solution. It avoids direct contact, but spreads more bacteria onto the floor and handles. If you feel a lot of anxiety when pooping, check out this video to overcome it and poop easily in public bathrooms. When at-home toilets also create plumes, though, high efficiency models may reduce the amount of aerosols in the air slightly, be sure to close the toilet lid before flushing as it may limit the spread. Ventilate your bathroom well if you can and clean it frequently. I would recommend to keep your toothbrush and personal items away from the toilet or covered in a closed cabinet. I have made sure to clean my bathroom at least once a week now and I am extra sure to do wipe downs of high touch areas. If you have an air purifier or fan, those can improve air circulation and reduce lingering particles too. I am most excited about the fact that we have bidets in all our bathrooms. Bidets are super hygienic and wash your hole with water, removing far more bacteria and fecal matter than with toilet paper alone. Not only are they efficient, but they minimize the vigorous wiping caused by toilet paper that leads to the spread of tiny poop particles being flung into the atmosphere and on your skin. If you're interested, you can get my favorite Tushy Bidet with a discount at the link in the description below. Check out all the different models there. Thanks and see you next time.